Hello friends. So today we are going to continue with our uh, part two session of project work format necessary and needed for B form practice school same eight project. So if we see over here that uh, B form final year that is first semester it is a semester seven and second it is a semester eight that is a part two. Now opening you will have certain idea knowledge gap you will find out some action or research work you will do and finally you will resolve that problem. So introduction material methods results discussion and conclusion and implications. Now there might be one questions in your mind that how to do this project how to report it and how to publish it. Now semester 8 is full of your total complete research lab work wherever you will go ahead. Now the project report it is the analysis of your data or have logically put together your case you can get on with uh, the task of writing the project. Now the project report should be formal presentation of your work and effort uh, highly polished in nature and well detailed structure and organized logically and in sequence so that your work is depicted in a highly professional manner as befitting of a budding pharmacist. Now avoid adding any irrelevant data for the sake of bulking up of the project like various photos and informations and pictures it will the bulky data. It is not relevant and necessary data. Uh, your observation need to be based upon the data you have collected and the recommendation should in turn be based upon the observations and would need to be in line with the research objectives you had outlined earlier. Now your conclusions it should be very relevant, crisp and logical when you will go ahead. Now this formatting and reviewing is a first part of your project that uh, it takes a lot of efforts to uh, presenting a report, take care of minor matters at this will make it more professional. Badly edited reports with grammatical errors and wrong punctuations give a very poor impression. A well written and carefully collected one holds the interest of the reader. Well spaced pages with proper headings, margins and tables will give a good impression. It is necessary to review and revise your draft report before you give to the final typing. Also your guide will help in this regards obtain his comments and suggestions for the changes whenever it is necessary. Now size of your project this is most important thing that you have to write in semester 8 30 to 50 pages report which will have a different uh, weightage over here. Uh, now formatting it should be uh, typed in a one side pages leaving a margin of one inch that is 2.5 centimeter from all side. The font type should be Times New Roman having size of 12 with one and half space between the line. Now at least some 7 to 8 chapters you have to quote over here and the weightage accordingly. So introduction will have a weightage of 15 to 20 percent of marks. Review of literature will have a weightage of 20 to 25 percent. Plan of work that is sampling, data collection and tool of analysis it will have 8 to 10 percent. Results and discussion it is having the maximum because that is your actual work what you are going to do at the lab. So it will have a 40 to 45 percent of importance. Summary and conclusion that is a 10 to 15 percent. Here it is also important that what you will conclude from your research work. Then the bibliography what you have uh, materialized at say Mr. Seven that is literature review and the referencing 1 to 2 percent and limitations of the study or the future study if you have planned in. Now actual guideline of your uh, project report the first chapter it should be introduction. It should be a background of your problem what you are going to study what is proposed to be investigated the significance of the problem the objective and the scope of the study and the contribution and impact of your study. A brief description of the organization where you have conducted the project should be provided. Now second is literature review. A review of literature must be done for pharmacy 
and medical journals, reference books, periodicals, bulletin and magazine available at your college or might be online. Whenever you visit to library, you will find that uh, some corner on some racks, these journals are there. You have to go and open and read those journals over there. Review the abstracts of the topic of your interest and select about 10 to 15 abstracts in addition and you may have to narrow or cut down up to 2 to 3 full length articles which you will utilize for your research work. The name of the author and the year of publication must appear in the context when you would prepare chapter of review of literature for your final uh, reporting. Now steps of literature review. Whenever you will select a topic, you will have a primary search of its literature that in your library books or whatever it may be or any survey you will do. Then develop the argument. Then with related to that argument again you have to do the survey of literature. Then you will find some critics of the literature that you have to mention and remember for your further studies and then you have to write the review. So again this process it is a continuous process. It is already said that if you do a literature review very good, so 50% of the project work it is already done. Now guidelines for the preparing uh, the plan of work, sample data collection and tool of analysis. Sample shed size should be at least 10% of the population size and the minimum number of respondents in a sample should be 50. Suppose if you are going for primary data of like a questionnaire and you are asking question to the respondents so uh, minimum at least 500 respondents it should be uh, there and 10% of it you will go for its calculation. So name, designation, organization name, address and mobile number each and everything reports you have to keep with you because whenever it will be asked in your presentation time and viva was you should produce in front of your examiners. You must mention various statistical tools like univariate uh, tools, bivariate tools or multivariate statistical tool like ANOVA by Excel or GraphPad Prism or any other business related analytical tool etc. Applied for the analysis of your data also reflect the various formulae of these applied tools. Now the main part that is results and discussion. So whenever work you will plan you will do that work and uh, you have to maintain your notebook Daily you have to show those all things to your guide and you have to report those uh, what you can say fake facts and figures. So presentation of the relevant data and analysis and discussion there on from the main body of the chapter. Develop your argument logically with the help of charts, figures and table to build your theme presenting data whenever necessary. Only include those parts of a table in the chapter which are relevant to the arguments each and everything it is not necessary. Uh, spend more time on central issues, give them importance, clarity and emphasis. All issues treated in the same manner dilute a report. All figures must be in Arabic numerical at the base of figure and all tables must be numerical row 1 uh, a top left aligned. We will see its uh, presentation over here. One thing you have to remember over uh, results and discussion that the maximum uh, pages of your uh, report it will be from the results and discussion. Now this is example of figure how we have to write figure so this is figure fig.1 dot, dot and then you will write the figure what it includes of any graph or this thing and then the above and below information if anything needed and you, you have to maintain that this has been shown in figure likewise you can maintain over it. Now this is a format of table, table should be a number left aligned and bolded, then title in case left aligned and italized, then central first that is in center and then the first column left aligned, other columns are center, uh, then the note if you want to give and any information related with the table you have to mention, you can mention. Now guidelines for preparing a project report. Summary and conclusion. Now you have done your research work, you have certain findings. So these findings you have to write very properly. Now results and discussion is a maximum data and summary it's, it's 
very uh, short data that is the facts and figures you can write in one or two or three lines while writing the summary lay emphasis in brief manner on very significant results which you derive that is the facts and figures you may also mention the impact of your research you have studied as well as if further research required in this same area now after that the most important thing whatever you have studied you have to conclude the conclusion whether it is a one paragraph or several brings the project to a satisfactory close or satisfying close rather than repeating that what has gone before the conclusion brings all the writers idea together and answer the question so what is planned the last word remember this thing the last words and the idea of a text are those the scientific audience is most likely to remember conclusion should be in only one paragraph always to have a good impression whenever your published paper anybody sees on internet he or she will refer only to the conclusion first of all that what conclusion you have got so you have to be very careful about writing it in one paragraph now guideline again for the bibliography and references a bibliography is a list of published sources uh, consulted during the course of project work and normally include all work listed in the text and text notes the bibliography can be listed in alphabetical order or split into two separate lists each covering book and articles like uh, if any textbook you see that after individual chapter there will be references so it is called as a splitting so either splitting or after total completion of project you can mention over you can follow apa guidelines for that as instructed by your university or guide for its submission at college level in semester 7 and university level in semester 8 limitations of study report must also mention the various limitations you had come across during survey or research work and preparation of this report even if some negative results if you have found you can quote so that uh, this will be recorded for the future studies for further students now references in first part also we have seen about the references so how a reference of a book it should be written how a reference of any journal it should be written how a article it should be written so this all thing it it, it has been mentioned over here for the references so uh, like uh, the author name then the what you can say article name then the uh, journal name year and the pages likewise you can go on now appendix and annexes these are the things which are mentioned uh, ending of the chapter that suppose let us say you have utilized any procedure for angle of repose or procedure for pyrogen testing so giving that procedure into results and discussion is not important you can give that pages 4 to 5 6 pages you can appendix or uh, annex here at the last of the project and mention its reference in your uh, project so the main chapters but referred to in the discussions and interpretation appendices are placed after the last chapter on summary and conclusion preferably should not have pages uh, page numbers and should not be counted in the target 30 to 50 pages of the project work now uh, cover page uh, that is your project report should adhere one first cover page short and written in capital letters name of the student enrollment number date of submission uh, example i have given in next slide formatting it is important 30 to 50 pages it should be there there should be three copies of your project one it is in college one it is in library and one it is with your uh, guide or you can keep with you also a copy of your approved synopsis should also be attached with the final report so that examiner will not ask maximum question so this is a copy of uh, your cover page one example and then afterwards you can come out with outcome like a, a review article or any publication national international uh, it will be cited and it will be reported in your cases so likewise outcome you can go ahead so today we have discuss about this if you like this uh, please uh, share subscribe and like the channel this is a part 2